Yo, hi you guys. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna go over my RX 580 four gigabyte uh, mining rig. And um, in some of my previous videos, you've seen that I've been mining Ergo. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna go over some of the, the problems I'm having right now with this rig and some of the hash rates that's achievable with the RX 580. Um, I've got four Alpita cards and then this one riding here, it's the the Hynix RX 580. When you buy the cards, sometimes you get an Alpita or Samsung or a Hynix, and I think there's a fourth. Just can't remember which which type of memory that is at the moment. But most commonly, you normally get an Alpita or a Hynix. Uh, the Hynix cards a little bit more difficult to modify, and I've since mining on Windows, I've actually uh, swapped to uh, Hive OS, and the reason for that is because whenever the rig would go down or go sort of like it would crash, instead of automatically um, resetting itself, I would have to go to uh, Google Remote Desktop, sign back in, uh, and restart the miner, and you know, every two days or a week or whenever, it would just get super frustrating, super annoying. And that's the reason I've swapped to Hive OS. There's a little bit of a learning curve, um, learning some of the Linux commands and getting it all up and going, but I can quite honestly say that it's been very successful uh, swapping to Hive OS. Um, and I'm just going to talk about some hash rates that are achievable. Um, with the RX 580, I think it's a really good card, especially for the money. Um, I've, I've even noticed in the GPU market at the moment, you can buy the RX 580 4GB second hand at the moment relatively um, cheap because of the crypto sort of um, comeback in, in the Bitcoin price. Um, so it's actually quite a good card to mine with. Um, I am a bit of an AMD fan, but I haven't got any NVIDIA cards yet, but I will. So in my Windows videos, um, this is one of the videos I posted up here. I used the AMD tweak tool um, and I was using low miner on this. I've actually noticed and been on a few Reddit forums and whatnot. Um, you can achieve um, greater mega hash returns using the SRB miner. And the good thing about um, uh, Hive OS is that you can set up the the minor um, where are the flight sheets. You can set up here you go SRB minor. You can set up um, a flight sheet and you can so for example if I was to edit this one. You can select a miner, and there's multiple miners you can use, but they've added now SRB miner, and it's a really good AMD miner. Um, and the, the problem is, is that when you go to, to edit these cards, um, it's a little bit more difficult to, to put in like your overclock settings. So this is what you sort of see here, doing your overclocks. Um, in the advanced configuration, that's where you can start to, to input um, like your memory tweaks. So you can see here that you want to modify your TRC, it's actually just the res timing RC tweak. Uh, I do a few other mods, but may, your main one for affecting your hash rate is this one here. If you push it too low, the card crashes. And then the refresh rate, normally you want to keep it at 20 for the Alpita, for the Hynix you want to keep them at 30. If you push them higher, the card becomes unstable. I've noticed anything above 50, the card just crashes. But 50 seems like, sort of like it's max point. And the thing with Hive OS is that if the, if the rig sort of like crashes, there's like a bot sort of watchdog script that runs and it will just reset the miner straight away and and reset your rig um, and then it will just reboot. So 
if I'm running, like, these are my other cards here. I'm, I'm just got them on the ref 20, the refresh rate. But, like, when I was doing my Windows tweaks, I, I get them up to 50 and I get a higher me mega hash. So, like, these cards are at 73 mega hash. I've seen, when I started mining on Windows with my RX 580s, I was actually getting 81 mega hash. Uh, with SRB miner using some of these settings which is crazy but I don't really want to use Windows I want to use Hive OS because it's just so much better in terms of resetting itself automatically and I feel as though because it's just like a straight um, you know Linux operating soft software system for the computer it's sort of like just straight away doesn't install or have any of the the background sort of like running windows updates or background apps like the calendar and all these all these unnecessary sort of like uh background um programs and whatnot that are running on the machine when you're using hive os it's just a cleaner operating system with the bare basics of you know like the amd drivers and then the the mining softwares and it just simplifies the computer and it just makes makes it run a little bit smoother so what i'm going to try to do in this video is i'm going to try and get my hynix card up around the same mega hashes as what you can see here with the rx580 so like these are some really really high mega hash rates that i'm achieving I've seen it get up close to 80 mega hash and like you can buy these cards at the moment for $300 second hand um, you're gonna generate like quite a lot of ergo if you if you build a few of these rigs and it's not gonna be overly expensive and a good thing about the RX 580 is that they have quite a low uh, power watch draw and then on top of that they just run cold like I've got my fans at 60% and all my car temps are like, you know, sitting around 50, 50 degrees and it's the middle of summer. And like, it's just really clean. Like I like, I like the card and I like, like, I just like it, you know, like it's, it's good value for money. Um, you see a bit of fluctuation with Ergo. I think that's something to do with it's, it's like, it's mining algorithm. It sort of fluctuates as it rebuilds. I think it rebuilds the DAG or something but anyway so the plan today is to get this higher so what I what I did in Windows with the RX 580 Hynix is that the Hynix card runs up at the Hynix card runs up at like 60 sort of to 65 on the TRC you want to pin that down so I've gone into like um, just like Hive, Hive OS's sort of like um, commands for the memory tweak tool because they run the software in their in in their um, in their operating system. And you can see here, it's exactly you got the the PMG, the CAS, the RAS, uh, and then the refresh rate. All these other settings down at the bottom. So normally, like there's a little T here, but these are just like the main ones. So. For the RADs, you want to you want to get this down, like around 55, 54 for the Hynix. I think these sit around 20 to, to 22. So if you go down here, it shows you the commands. I want to change the res RC-60. So if we find it here, you've got dash dash RC. So I think that is the command you want to change, I believe. Um, yeah, so let's give it a go. We're going to go dash dash RC value, right? That's RFC. That's the music. Okay, so yeah, dash dash RC sixty. 
So we go back to Hive. We select the Hynix card. We're going to edit it. So dash dash RC. Let's go 55. Because remember, we're trying to tighten that strap. It's probably up around 65, 67. We want to tighten that down. And before I hit apply, see how it's at 63 mega hash. Let's chuck it in. Dash dash. RC 55 hit apply now hopefully the rig doesn't crash if it crashes I've tightened it too too hard out and I'll probably try like a higher strap so let's just give it some time to mine and we'll watch the 63 mega hash on that Hynex card and we'll see if it gets any higher. Now, there's a sweet point when you're mining with these cards. I've slightly changed the second Alpita card here. I've had these running for, you know, like a good week and a half stable at, at that sort of like overclock. 1325 on the clock and then 1875 on the memory. With 980 on the core and then 980 on the memory voltage. So for yeah, for for that one there, I've slightly increased it because I know that you can push these cards a little higher. But when I'm talking about that sweet point, there's always going to be a sweet point between your wattage, so how much power the card's drawing, and then how much mega hash you're achieving. Because you can push these cards, you know, right up to their max breaking points. So there you go. That's a really successful little mod that I knew that was possible with the Hynix card. So if you got a Hynix card and you're like, oh, what the fuck, I'm not getting, you know, these these high mega hash rates. I don't want to have a Hynix. I wish I brought out Peter, yada, yada, yada. The mod, you can mod these cards. Like you can you can mod these cards. You can get, get them higher. Don't worry about it. They're just a little bit more difficult to tweak like you have to also change the the RCDR down to 20 you got to muck around with the res tighten that down um, I've mucked around with this one how I've worked all this out is I ran these cards on stock I sort of I had a look at this to see what the the default was on stock mining ergo and then I mucked around with my overclocks. I saw what was possible at the highest point with all these on default. And then once you've got the sweet point just with your core control and your memory control, that's when it's time to start mucking around with these settings. And you just do tiny little variations. So I went through all sorts of these little mods one by one, just going up and down, just tightening and just watching the mega hash. Uh, get affected seeing what worked seeing what didn't work and it, it's it took me hours and hours and hours and hours but I've worked out that the res timing straps especially the TRC the, the RC that's the main cookie there that can really get you a higher mega hash rate also the refresh rate that helps a lot so yeah I mean it was a successful little mod that I wanted to sort of just screen record and share with you guys I've got the card just over 70 mega hash and I mean I'm probably gonna muck around it with a little a little bit more and then probably push this up to 74 mega hash and see if I can get it stable at that level but yeah I hope you guys you know enjoyed the video and this helps helps everyone out um, who, who is ergo mining I think ergo mining is gonna take off 
Ergo is going to take off. Massive D5 D5 proof of work project that's got a lot going for it. There's so many D apps coming in. Um, yeah. Hope all you AMD fans out there are having a great time ergo mining or you know if you're mining ethereum i think you know mining ethereum i don't really like ethereum i think Ethereum's too expensive but yeah so subscribe because I, I always put out some really good content some good quality stuff every time i learn something i'm going to share it that's going to you know really help so yeah please please subscribe and um I'll, I'll um you know converse with you guys in the comments and we can you know create a little mining community I post post other videos as well, but yeah, hope you guys have a a great time ergo mining. Thanks.